What's your responsibility if you become the best person in this class? What's your responsibility after that? Tell other people. To help other people, right? Because it doesn't make sense if you're the best person and no one else is uh, as good as you. You have to help everybody. That's what martial arts is about. It's about helping people. How you doing? My name is Sensei Serge Sanyovi. I'm the owner and head instructor of Urban Martial Arts and uh, my day-to-day -day operations are teaching classes and uh, helping out the students in school. Uh, I grew up in the East Village with uh, three of my brothers and my mother and my father and uh, we grew up watching karate movies and kung fu movies and uh, Karate was something I always wanted to do, so I decided to go around every school in Manhattan and watch classes, and uh, finally I found a school that was uh, pretty affordable for my family, and uh, I've just been doing it ever since. Uh, before uh, we opened up the martial arts school, I worked in corporate America for about 10 years, and uh, I really felt in those 10 years, I was kind of in a place where I was stuck and I felt like in my job I was just making a lot of lateral moves, not really moving forward and things like that. And um, I just felt like I, went, I, didn't, I wasn't in a place that I could help people. So one day I was coming home really, really late and uh, I got into a car accident. And uh, the car was completely totaled and uh, I remember just jumping out of that car and uh, just looking at the car and just thinking, oh man, this car's really messed up. Not really thinking about myself. And uh, as I you know, waited on the side of the road and uh, the ambulance and the fire truck came and I was sitting in the back of the ambulance and the fire uh, men came in and he said uh, he was looking for me because he thought you know, I was in really in bad shape. So I walked out and I looked at the fireman and he looked at me as if I was a ghost. And he said, wow, like you're really lucky. And um, after that, I really thought like, it really made me think about my life and think about um, what do I want to do and how can I impact other lives and help people. Hi, I'm Carmen Sanyovi and I'm the owner and general manager here at Urban Martial Arts. So I actually didn't have any experience in martial arts before we opened the school and so for me it's been really eye-opening to see how martial arts can really transform lives. Um, I just think about, you know, whether it's from the small things to the big things. I remember one time we had a student who uh, was riding his bike and he fell forward and he could have been hurt really seriously but because Sensei Surge had showed him how to do a shoulder roll in class, he was able to do that shoulder roll and therefore, you know, avoid injury. Um, you know, or or, you know that's kind of a small way that it helped him and then all the way to really a big transformation like I can think of another one of our students who's in our advanced class now and when she first did her orientation class she cried a lot she was really shy really nervous and you know her parents at first just didn't think she was going to be able to do it and now she really stuck it out she really used perseverance and she is actually in our leadership program now and um, is really laying the foundation to one day become an instructor herself and to see her transform from that shy, scared little girl to this confident, uh, you know, young lady who really demonstrates those leadership abilities, it, it's really pretty amazing. Experience at Urban Martial Arts, it's a, uh, you're really going to get a really great workout. It's very family friendly. Everyone knows each other by their first names. And uh, you're definitely going to get a really, really good workout. Whether you're a kid, teen, or adult, uh, Urban Martial Arts has a program for you. When we opened Urban Martial Arts, um, a lot of people will come in and ask us, uh, is this a chain? You know, where's your headquarters? Where other, where else do you have locations? And we really took that as a compliment because it seemed like people thought that we were a bigger company than we really were. Um, in reality, we are a small business. We're literally a mom and pop store. And um, what we really wanted to do is um, really give people the professionalism and the consistency that they can expect from a big company, um, but then really the friendliness of a small business like ours. And I really hope that we've been able to achieve that in um, the kind of experience that we give to our students and their families.
Uh, family is very important to my life. Um, it's been the last few years have been um, really kind of a roller coaster ride because we opened the business, then we quit our jobs, then we got married, then we had a baby, all in the span of two and a half years or so. So it was really one thing after the other. Um, but I feel really fortunate, you know. It's it's been great that we are able to really design our life the way we want to live it and um, and it's great because um, Sean our daughter she's been at the karate school pretty much since almost birth so since she was just a couple weeks old she's been at the school she knows all the students the parents it's almost like her second home so um, so yeah it's it's really great having this kind of extended family for her well family is really important because uh, Running a business is really stressful, so it's good to have a good salad base to come home to. So family is really, really important. Well, after my daughter was born, my life changed completely. Uh, I think the way I view things in life are completely different. Just with a little more compassion now, especially having a daughter now. So life has changed completely. Um, I really admire my husband because I think that he's just a really amazing teacher. And um, I think that it's really a gift that some people have and some people don't and um, he really has that and it was amazing because I had before we opened the school I had never seen him in that capacity before um, I mean I always knew that he was really good with people and, and that kind of thing but to really see him like step into like a leadership role and inspire um, so many students and their families and and that he's able to transform their lives through martial arts like that's been really amazing for me to watch Uh, the most, the one thing I admire most about my wife is the fact that she always has my back. Uh, the fact that I mentioned that I wanted to open up the business, she didn't second guess it. We just did it, and we went 100%. So that's really why I admire her so much. Running the martial arts school um, definitely has an impact on how I think about parenting because um, what's great about the school actually is that. You know, unlike a lot of other businesses where you're just really dealing with the public at large, um, I think that one of the things that we're very fortunate is that um, pretty much all of the families that come through the door are the kinds of families who really care about their children and are really invested in wanting to build the best possible future for their child. And so basically, in other words, they're really good parents that come through the door. Well, martial arts definitely helped me out as a child and it helped me to become a better adult because it definitely taught me the discipline and the focus because if you don't have that discipline and the focus, it's going to be really hard for you to start a business and have a stable family. So it really helped me a lot as an adult.